welcome back to Hermit Craft Server. Getting back to work on this motel here, and something somebody suggested sounded like a really good idea, so I thought I'd give it a try. And that was in regard to the diving board. The suggestion was. Ah. The suggestion was simply to use string under the diving board, well, string to put the uh, carpeting on. And so, I've got a few pieces of string here. Let's give this a try and see if it works. So we put some string there, and here, and here. Get up to the top. We can just nicely almost see the string. Now, can we put carpet on top of nothing but string? Yes. Can we walk on that? Excellent. All right. That was a good idea. Thank you. And uh, please don't take it personally that I don't remember your name because I'm terrible with names. But uh, I'm okay with ideas, and that was a good one. Thank you for that. Okay, now let's see. I need to get working on this pool. And I've decided what I want to do for the bottom and probably the sides is I want to use melon. Because it'll look better than uh, cobble. Of course, I've only got a limited amount of it right now. So I'm going to have to start farming it up. But that's the general kind of look we're going to have. All right. Uh, also, another bit of absolutely awesome good news is that Optifine is finally updated to 1.7.9. It's a preview version, but it works, and that's good for me. That means no more depth fog. That means I now have uh, much better frame rates and so on, and that's good. If you're an Optifine user, check the Optifine thread on the Minecraft forum. You'll be glad you did. All right, now I'm just going to kind of work on the depth of this pool. And uh, while I'm at that, I thought it would be a good idea to address some things that show up in the comments fairly often. Uh, I get occasional comments, occasionally, some sort of frequently actually, about uh, my video quality, my audio quality. Well, as for video quality, I record using Fraps. And uh, when, I re when I bring that into the video, I render the video at 720p, 29.97 frames per second, which is NTSC standard. And I use that because, frankly, that's what my camcorder puts out, and uh, I've got Sony Vegas set to render that so that I don't have to convert frame rates. And uh, that's better, actually. Converting frame rates is a problem. For one thing, it can add an extra time-consuming step and so on. So, anyway. That's really, a, in my opinion, I think that's a pretty good video quality, all things considered. And another thing is that... Uh, People occasionally have comments about my audio quality. And let me explain that. You see, some of you probably hear a certain amount of noise in the background. The noise is generated, it's background noise. It's generated largely by my uh, 
the cooling fans for my CPU and my graphics card and, and so on. And it's picked up by the mic, which is actually a pretty good mic. It's a Turtle Beach X12. You know, it's no Blue Yeti or Snowball or whatever they call it. But it's good. And uh, I don't have one of those fancy things because, well, I can't afford one of those fancy things. All right, let me dump some of this crap. You know, that's a good mic, but it's an expensive good mic. So I'm not going to have one for a while. Probably a long while. Okay, so what I do is in editing the video, I, uh, when I'm done with all the editing, I export the audio and then bring that into Audacity. Audacity then handles, it, I use Audacity to handle noise filtering, and I do the best I can with that. And you're going to say, well, but you don't get it all. You leave noise in. Well, yeah, I do. Not because I want to, but simply because I have a slight hearing loss problem. And... Uh, that means that there is certain sounds and whatnot that I simply can't hear. And I can't filter something out if I can't hear it, now can I? So I, I do the best I can with what I've got. And if the audio or the video is not perfect, I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can do. And, uh, by the way, I personally think that 720p is actually plenty of resolution for Minecraft. I mean, we're not talking about something that natively has a huge humongous resolution. It's, uh, let's face it, it's a low res kind of game. And personally, I think that anything more than 720 is actually kind of wasted on Minecraft. Uh. Uh, okay. I think I need to make this deeper. And I'm going to have to get a bunch more of these melons so that I can uh, make the bottom a uniform texture of some kind and do the same kind of thing with the sides. Because otherwise it's just going to look kind of like crap. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. All right, another thing that people say to me all the time is you should use this or that texture pack, or, you know, you should use Faithful 32, or you should use Sfax, or you should use John Smith, or you should use this or that or the other. And uh, Well, I'll tell you what. I've seen a lot of texture packs in use by a lot of people, in watching Minecraft videos. You know, in the last several years, I've watched a heck of a lot of Minecraft. People using all manner of texture packs and whatnot. And say what you will, because, of course, you're going to anyway, all right? <laughs> but, no, seriously, say what you will, but I 
like the default textures. I really do. I prefer it. It just, in my mind, it suits Minecraft just perfectly. And the only extent to which I'm willing to change that is uh, by doing minor little edits to it. Like, for example, I have created my own texture pack. I call it TFC Beta. And in that texture pack, you can see the glass has been fixed. I removed those god-awful streaks to keep you from seeing through it. And I fixed the doors so that the doors, you can see through the glass in those. And I did the same thing to uh, iron doors as I did to wooden doors. And other than that, I brought in, I brought back the beta cobble and the beta uh, gravel, the mossy stone, and uh, I also brought back some of the beta sounds. Specifically, uh, the bow sound, the hurt sound, you know, and stuff like that. I never cared for that bone crunching sound, so I was glad to have the old hurt sound back. And I hate that whispery, soft sounding bow because half the time I can't hear it. Actually, three quarters of the time I can't hear it. The old beta bow twang, I can hear that, you know. So that works for me. And uh, obviously, uh, I'm, yeah, spum's on, so I'm not going to be sleeping till day. Uh, let's see. Let's head back up here and do something about getting some kind of melon farm solution going. Because obviously, I need more melon. All right, there we go. Now tell me I've got some melon seed around here or some melon that I can use for seed. I know I have it. Oh, here's some. Okay, and I also uh, got some name tags recently and uh, some more saddles. Because I, I got on here earlier, and I was all set to go mining. And uh, the doggone mine broke into a freaking abandoned mine shaft. And so I had to deal with that instead. Two hours of my life all wasted, but what the heck. It wasn't a complete waste. I got name tags and saddles out of it. Okay, and uh, I even got a bit of iron horse armor somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Oh, well. All right, let's do something here. I, I need to actually something like this would probably be a good idea. I know there is an automated melon farm system out there somewhere. I'm going to have to look it up and build it. But for right this moment, I think I'm just going to do something quick and dirty. And I'm just going to plant a quick and dirty melon farm that will get me some more melon growing. And then later on, I will worry about automating the process. Okay, let's see. Fill this in. Let's 
so that I can put some water down here. Without it spilling all over creation. Let's see, if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, if I put the water right there underneath. That should take that one block of water should take care of the whole thing. All right, let's get the seeds. Oh, crap. That figures. I forgot all about the fact that you need a tilling device for this. Isn't that a mess? I mean, I knew it, but I just didn't remember it. Okay, the water thing is not working the way I expected it to. Otherwise, this stuff would stay tilled. Oh, crap. Okay, fine. Right about here. Get my water bucket, get my water back. Hello. What the heck is all that about? There. Now it's getting hydrated. Good. All right. We'll expand this later. And I'll put water back in that thing later, but I don't need to be harvesting obsidian just this moment. And in fact, I'm going to take a quick break and see if I can find a good automatic melon farm design, reasonably compact tileable or something like that. Okay. I had just started looking at uh, automated melon farms when I realized that because I want the melon blocks, an automated farm is not going to do it because I need to harvest these suckers with silk touch to get the blocks. So, I expanded this thing out. There is now 27 melon plants here. Ah, I need to stop doing that, but uh, all I got to do is just wait for them to grow, harvest up the things with silk touch, and I'm in business. Now that's going to take a while to generate enough, so I'm just going to let that grow and head back over to the motel. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think some stone slabs are going to be in order. And now let's head around here. 
And I'm going to use what melons I've got. Uh, fill some of this in. Ah. Uh, I hate it when I do that. All right, that's a start. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. There's one more thing I needed. Need a ladder for getting in and out of the pool. And that should actually be plenty right there. The ladder will be down here where the deep end is going to be. All right, great. And then two block wide stone slabs going all the way around. Something like that. Die, chump. You don't belong here. Okay, well, that's basically what I want to do there, to get that going. Uh, I'm going to have to fix the water there. But that's basically the design I have in mind. I have a little walkway coming out from the rooms. Like so. Perhaps make it wider, put some kind of a deck area over here around it as well as the two block wide walk around it we'll see and there is another thing to consider while over here I'm going to have the greasy spoon restaurant somebody pointed out that a stable would be a good idea and so over here we're going to have parking facilities for the motel 1.7 and I'll be getting working on those very soon Next up, we'll be finishing the pool and getting started with the uh, Greasy Spoon. As a matter of fact, I'll probably finish the pool off camera and then get working on the Greasy Spoon Foundation and whatnot, and we'll get working on that sucker next time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.